There is an area where society really has advanced over the years. You see, age is becoming less of a barrier in doing the things that you love. You know, through the internet, people of all ages get to share their lives, their views, whatever it is that they want to share, they can do it. So am I, a 17-year-old kid, too young to share the gospel? Obviously, I like to think not, because otherwise, why would I be here? But I have three reasons for you guys why I believe this. Three reasons. 1 Timothy 4.12, Matthew 19.14, and Matthew 28.8. I apologize if any of you just left because I started to throw around Bible verses, and you're like, nope, nope, too much. Okay, so, 1 Timothy 4.12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Any young person knows that it's not uncommon for an old er person to look down on us, you know. Take a few more trips around the sun, that then, then we will have the wisdom and the understanding and the experience to live this life. Now, Timothy who's being written about in this passage. He's not my kind of young. He's not, he's not a teenager, per se. But at the time, he was considered young. And yet Paul tells Timothy, don't let anyone look down on you or despise you because of your age. Instead, he actually says, set an example for the believers. Be faithful, be loving, be pure, and show this in your speech and in your action. Now, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I am far from it, in fact. And chances are, you're not going to agree with everything that I say, and that is perfectly okay. All I'm doing is sharing my view, my unprofessional, unformally educated view. All I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to walk the walk, as Paul tells us young people to do. Now, if you want to call me out for being unfaithful, unloving, impure, okay, that is one thing. But don't say that I'm too young. All right, Matthew nineteen fourteen. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Now these videos are kind of centered towards a, a youthful audience. But hey, if you're youthful at heart, I'm cool with that. I should be like my slogan, you know, like, for the youthful and the youthful at heart. Nah. Like I said, I don't know everything. But myself and the people who watch this video are entitled to the kingdom of heaven and shouldn't be hindered or held back from that. You see, because age doesn't limit anyone from God. Just that That is essentially the premise of this video. Age doesn't limit anyone from God. There are a lot of things that we can't do until we hit a certain age, you know, like voting, because that's what everyone was thinking about. But we can have a relationship with God. So while yes, a 40-year-old pastor has read plenty more theological books than I, has preached in more places than just a church youth group, and most likely has a better understanding of the Word of God, but we are equally entitled to the Kingdom of Heaven. Alright, final verse, Matthew 28, 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Now this verse is an excerpt, excerpt from the Great Commission. Right after this, in verse 19, he do, Jesus does the whole, Go and make disciples of all nations. Now I chose this specific verse because I want to get across a, a huge point. Being a young person, you feel like you have no authority compared to the adults around you. But the fact is, Jesus has all authority and that's it. Now the Bible does say respect the authority of your elders and, and please do so. But this is a, a different kind of authority. This is a, a limited kind of authority given to them by God that, that must be obeyed because it was given to them by God. But it's not all the authority. At the end of this section, 
Jesus says, And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. This is what I believe Jesus is saying. Don't get a big head, because I have all the authority, not you. But live your life knowing that all the authority of heaven and earth will be with you when you go out and preach the gospel. Alright, so that's why I believe that I can share the gospel even though I don't know everything. I mean, no one knows everything, but I don't know as much as a pastor that's been doing it for a lot of years. Like, I, I don't know that much, but this is why I believe that I can share the good news of Jesus Christ. Alright, well, that is all for now. I will see you guys later, and have a great day.